wow, it's a real alien. What is that dot? It could be anything. This is interesting, but you can immediately tell what's going on. It could be an alien. Dude, I could literally make you that shot in After Effects <laughs> and it would look exactly the same. <laughs> So what are you telling me, Jamie? There's a, uh, yeah. a UFO yesterday? Yeah. What does the U.S. government know about UFOs? Newly leaked video allegedly shows one of the U.S. Navy's stealth ships tracking an unknown object in the sky. There's stuff flying in our airspace. We don't know what it is. We need to find out. So a few months ago, the Pentagon released a series of UFO videos. We have footage of things flying. We don't know what they are, which everybody immediately turns into them saying, the Pentagon has alien footage. Yeah. <laughs> UFOs is not aliens. UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object. I'm sure a bunch of people know that, but it's become synonymous with like flying saucers and aliens. What they did though is they were like, let's stop calling them UFOs, let's call them UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. It's totally more accurate because sometimes like what you're filming isn't a physical object and it could be a trick of light or a shadow and it like might not be something physical, but just the way a sensor or camera reacts to light. We wanted to take our visual effects artist eye and apply it to these videos because we spend a lot of time analyzing footage, analyzing pixels, trying to figure out what makes things look fake. A big part of our time is spent trying to replicate what an image looks like once it's passed through a lens and a camera. You know, that's what visual effects truly are. It's not just going, oh, does something look real? It's no, does this look like the image was captured with a real camera? I haven't seen any of these videos, and it's mostly just because I saw like a screenshot of one, I'm like, okay, same old thing, you know, here's a dot, you know, Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it, Sam? Is it a flying triangle alien? Well, it seems to grow and shrink like an iris is adjusting or something like that. <laughs> That's what I see. Like, okay, so this is guy. This guy literally held his phone up to his like night vision monocular. All right, and those little white specks are the sensor of this night vision camera, kind of fritzing out a little bit with noise. Okay, I see a bokeh. Bokeh's, okay, so when you see something that's out of focus in the background, basically it's it's the shape of the iris of a lens. All the light has is forced through the iris that's in front of your sensor. And whatever the shape of that iris is, is the uh, shape your bokeh is going to be. Seems like this is maybe a, like a triangular iris. Three-bladed iris. A three-bladed iris. Now we're all used to circles because our lenses have circular apertures. And in fact, the more expensive the lens, the more blades on the aperture, so it becomes rounder and it doesn't have like a hexagon stop sign shape. But the cheaper lenses have less aperture blades and really cheap lenses, you only need like three blades, you know? Zoop, 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 zoop. It's cheap and it's easy. You're not worried about trying to make a nice bokeh in the background. You just need to open and close the aperture. And this is not a film camera that he's using. It's not a, a DSLR. This is a infrared camera. And so the lens on this camera is cheap. I think to me this video is clearly, clearly, clearly just an out-of-focus airplane and all you need to do is look at the top of the flagpole in the right corner or even the stars in the background and you can see that they also take on a triangular shape. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's literally just the bokeh. Okay, so there's nothing special about this at all. There's absolutely nothing special about this. I could recreate this footage with basically zero effort. Taking a night vision monocular and then I just put my phone into it. Like, how is this even newsworthy? Yeah, this is actually, this is the thing that kind of makes me angry. It's like, this is so obviously just out of focus footage. This is going through newsrooms. And like, these are professionals that work with cameras and you can immediately tell what's going on. And then they purposefully kind of cover it up so they can act like it's something interesting to talk about. I don't think we developed that technology on this planet. All right, this next clip is from the Pentagon. Hmm. Um, there's something there. I think that's a physical object. I think it's a physical object too. So just a little bit of context, we're in an airplane. And the airplane is above the water and it seems like whatever they're looking at is below them. But it's like, what is this? It's like a dot that's like, how many pixels is that? Like maybe a collection of up to 12 individual <laughs> pixels. You know what I'm saying? Like there's not yeah. a lot to work with here. It's just, here's a dot that's flying around. I have a pretty strong theory of what's going on here. This is one of the more interesting ones. It's not so obviously like, oh, it's an out of focus object. Like this is, this is interesting, but I think this is just a trick 
of parallax motion. A trick of parallax motion. I think what we're dealing with here is a bird. Not a drone, not an incredibly fast flying ship. Here's why. First off, we are not sitting still as our point of view. We are in an airplane, the airplane's moving. Notice that when they're not locked on the bird, the ocean isn't moving. The airplane's not sitting still, the airplane's moving fast. I think what's actually happening is the camera is stabilizing itself to whatever it's pointed to. So it's pointed to the ocean and so it's locked there. The airplane's still moving forwards, but the camera's locked to that point in the ocean like a gimbal. And so it feels like we're sitting still, but we're not. The camera's just tracking that one spot so it can stay locked there. And then we see a bird fly by. It looks like the bird's flying really fast. But imagine for a minute, if you will, and you have a bird up in the air, and we have an airplane going 300 miles an hour, 400 miles an hour, and the bird is flying in the opposite direction of the airplane. All right, so you see this little thing go across the screen. Not because the bird's going 300 miles an hour, because they're going 300 miles an hour. And it makes it look like they're going super, super fast. I mean, let's do a little experiment here. Sam, I want you to be the bird here, okay? I have it on the end of the stick. It's a little, little yellow bird. And I'm gonna be the airplane. And I just wanna see what happens in the background. Okay, lock on, here we go. Three, two, one, action. All right, so Sam didn't even move. That bird's going so fast. It does look like it's moving. <laughs> yep, I think that's the effect we're looking at here. I think the bird's probably flying, you know, decently fast. But what if it's a UFO? It could be a bird. It could be a tiny, tiny alien moving at the speed of a bird as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've gone from what I think is an easy to debunk to a medium challenging debunk. Let's go to one that I think is the most challenging of all of them. Okay, while everyone is trying to debunk these UFO videos, I did a little bit of research on my own. And I think there's quite a few things in here that people aren't going to notice. And I wanna tell you exactly what those things are, courtesy of today's sponsor, Squarespace. Number one, let's go. What is the first thing that we see? Okay, we see a glowing orb in the middle of two lines. Glowing orbs, well, they are beautiful, and if you've ever wanted to get a beautiful website of your own, you can get started with Squarespace. They have beautiful award-winning templates and 24-7 customer service in case you get stuck. Okay, well, that's, that's all we know about that one. Let's move on. I've got the second video pulled up here, and the first thing you're gonna notice is that uh, there's two people talking if you listen to the audio of this. They're, they're coordinating together as a team. And with Squarespace, you can use their multiple contributors tool. It's pretty great. You don't need to use one access for all the people that are contributing to your website. No, you can break it down, focus on who's good at what, get them situated, and make the whole website better off. All right, I've got the third image pulled up here. Now this one is the most compelling, the most interesting, because there's a tiny object flying fast, and guess what? Oh, right here, right here, boom. He catches it with the tracking device that he has from his jet Plane. He's looking down, he's tracking it, just like Squarespace's traffic overviews tools. With Squarespace, you're going to be able to see who comes and goes on your site, you know, what pages they're frequenting, where they're coming from, and a lot of other important details that you're going to need to make your site better off over the long term. Squarespace has some of the best analytics. That's why we use them. That's why we love them. Okay, I've reviewed all three videos and I think it's pretty obvious the first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you see footage like this for the first time is, is get it out on social media. Through Squarespace's connected social media accounts tool, you can make one post on your Squarespace website and have that automatically format and go out to a bunch of other social media platforms. After you post them on social media, well, maybe you wanna host them as videos on the internet. Well, guess what? Through Squarespace's video blocks tool, you can do exactly that. So anyways, head on over to squarespace.com slash corridor crew to get 10% off your first purchase. That's squarespace.com slash corridor crew. See you later. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. God, God, alien! It looks like a full orc absorb. <laughs> he shaped his UFO like the full orc absorb. <laughs> what we're looking at here isn't a UFO, but a flying alien in the flesh. <laughs> it does have a very UFO-like shape. But notice how the, it rotates. Each time the camera rotates, the orientation of the alien's body <laughs> rotates. <laughs> the shape that we see here changes as the camera's orientation changes, so its shape is defined by the camera. Whatever that is, it's not that shape, first off. <laughs> this one is a challenging one. I think we're looking at two different things happening here. 
So this is a, a thermal camera. It's not just infrared, it's full on thermal. So it goes pretty far down to that infrared spectrum. I think we're looking at a lens flare, a heat lens flare. When people say lens flares, they probably think of that whole streak of like, you know, circles across the frame. I'm just talking about a literal flare. Bloom, it's, it's a one single bright object in the center of frame. And what's giving it its shape is the shape of the bloom out around it. So it's just one bright object like this, and the way it blooms, I think, is giving it that oval shape. What's there in the distance is either an airplane or a mylar balloon reflecting the sun. And it's reflecting the sun directly into the camera lens here, and they're going, whoa! Oh, it's so hot and bright. When you use thermal cameras or cameras like this, they have a certain dynamic range. If something blows it out, so to speak, you get the halo effect. Like if something's super ultra bright, sometimes that will basically tell the sensor like, oh, it's too bright and so it just displays black, but then the glow from it is still apparent. If you watch like UAV footage like I do and you see like missiles blowing up buildings, right when that explosion goes off, it goes black and then go back to white because we're dealing with this effective dynamic range of what thermal cameras can handle. Also, this is probably another one of those situations where whatever that is in the sky, it's not moving the way it looks like it's moving because we're now just doing the same parallax effect except it's on the horizon lines. So once again, let's break this down. There is a small chance it's an alien. <laughs> This is a UFO. It's an unified. We don't know what that object is. It's technically a UFO. We don't know what they're filming. The lens, the flare is obscuring it. Okay, so wait, this is it? So far, like, I'm just seeing stuff that airplanes film, and it seems like it's going fast because the plane's moving. Yeah, there, there's one more. This is it. This is someone at the freaking Pentagon was like, uh, how do I compress this? <laughs> and then they bring in a media encoder and like, we're releasing on Twitter? Like, should I, should I select Twitter? Oh, we got a blurry dot. Okay. So this is an airplane flying straight, filming something. It could, this is probably, this is most likely an alien actually. This is 100% an alien. There's, science can't explain this footage that you're seeing right here. It could be a, it could be a vampire. Loch Ness monster. Sasquatches can fly. Or it could be a ghost, a massive freaking high speed ghost. He's like, I'm late to haunt this house. <laughs> he's like, he's like, they're moving in. Go, go, go. Could be Santa Claus. Oh, could be, oh shit. Oh, damn. Pen Pentagon releases top secret leaked footage of Santa Claus. That would be newsworthy. I mean, this there's this footage is devoid of information. <laughs> like, I could literally make you that shot in After Effects, and like, I could release it, and it would look exactly the same. Run it through about a thousand filters. Export as an MP4 about five times. Call it a day. Let's be honest. What is that dot? It could be anything. Okay, it literally could be anything in the air. It could be an alien. We will never know. But unfortunately, it's more likely to be anything else other than an alien, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there is, but once again, let's be honest, there is a very small percentage. There's a small, very, very, very small chance it could be an alien. There could be an alien behind that door right now. The chances are pretty much equal. I think the thing that everybody's really hyped about with this is that the Pentagon released it. Like, as in like the Pentagon went like, we have this footage, we can't, we can't identify what's in it. Here is footage of a UFO slash UAP. And everyone went, footage of a UFO as in footage of an alien. And the Pentagon went, no, it's footage of a UFO. Like real footage of a UFO? It's like, yeah, it's real footage of a UFO. So it's footage of real aliens. It's like, never mind. And then the news took it and throws a guy on there and goes, this could be an alien. And Sam's right. It could be an alien. There could also be an alien behind that door. In fact, Maybe. all of you watching this might be aliens right now, and I might be the only real person here. They're freaking interdimensional invaders, okay? I'll just say it, make fun of me all you want. Here's a challenge. I would like to believe that aliens are real, but I think this video footage does absolutely nothing for the cause. If you know of alien footage that is more convincing than this, or have proof of aliens, that might convince me that they're real, let us know in the comments below. Likewise, if any of you guys happen to be pilots that know what all these readouts on these screens mean, or any of you have other like really solid theories as to what we could be looking at here, not crazy wacky, like it could be a dragon theories, but at real life, like, oh, it was actually, if it was a drone, it would work like this. Like, I'd love to hear like some down to earth skeptic approaches to what we're looking at here also. So yeah, leave some comments down below. Uh, we'd love to engage with you in some, some discussions here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. All right, let's do some lunch. Let's do it. Lunch time. Does one go to McDonald's here? McDonald's, yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, I love burgers. Uh, hey, you cut the camera, right, Nick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay.